Hi everyone, let's have a look at the kind of problems we are going to tackle today. It's just like you cannot resist this hot cup of coffee. Same way you would not be able to resist the shortcut for today. So, are you excited? Let's get started. So, coming back to the questions for the day. Now, you could be asked to find the range of the following trigonometric functions or at the same time, you can also say finding the minimum and the maximum value for these functions. Now, the answers are not going to take even more than two seconds. Yes, for instance, the answer to first one, well, the maximum value would be infinity and the minimum this can take would be That's it. Wasn't this so simple? Now, how did I arrive at the answer so quick? Well, of course, I would share the magic secret formula. But before we do that, there are a couple of things I wanted to discuss. First thing, these shortcuts and tricks are just time-saving hacks for your competitive exams. In no way I am saying that they could be a substitute to your logical or mathematical understanding. So please note, all the questions also cannot be tackled using shortcuts. Secondly, I keep getting a lot of queries through mails, messages, comments, whatsapps. The moment I open my phone, I have at least 500 whatsapp messages pouring almost every day. Of course, it's not possible for me to handle all these queries, so I'm really sorry for that. But then keep letting me know which all topics you want so that I can keep working on them through my videos. And now, let the magic begin. So whenever you come across this form which says P into secant square x plus Q into cos square x. Now please see, this secant square x and cos square x, they are reciprocal of each other. Likewise, I can have tan square x and cot square x sin square x and cosecant square x. So in short, you should have the square of the trigonometric function and its reciprocal given to you. Secondly, the angles should be absolutely the same. As you can see the case in all of these. So this is 2x. Here we have 3 theta for both of them. Here we have x for both of them. And here we've gone up to 10x also. Just these requirements that you have the square of a function and its reciprocal, you have the same angle and there's a positive sign in between. Then the maximum value is always infinity. Yes, so for all these questions, it is simply infinity. And the minimum value is going to be simply twice of under root P into Q. Now, P and Q could be anywhere. It is a simple product. That's all you have to do. So, as you can see, the answer to this one was twice of root 9 into 16. 9 into 16 is 144. So, 12 into 2, it was 24. Wasn't this easy? Same way for the second one, the minimum value would be twice of Square root of 4 into 9, which is 36. 36 square root is 6 into 2, so it is simply 12. Likewise, for the third one, it will be twice of under root 3 into 4, which could be written as 4 root 3. And for the last one, well, why not make this your do-it-yourself question? Yes. You would solve it on your own. I am sure more than half of you have already done it. And find the minimum value for this function. Please note, if the same question comes as find the range for the given function, then in that case, the range over here would be 24 included. And infinity is always open. Minus infinity or infinity, they're always open. Here, it would be 12 to infinity. Here, it would be 4 root 3 to infinity. Here, it would be what you will tell me in the comment section below. I am sure you all love this video. Yes? Then make sure to give this one a big thumbs up. Share it with all the people around you. And if you haven't done that so far, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Also, don't forget to check out the various playlists 
on my channel for shortcut videos and full concept videos. I would see you with the new exciting one very soon. Until then, keep sharing and supporting Mathematically Inclined. Bye-bye.